previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought of us. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. Sorry, you must be thinking of a different town because there's no one here named Jesse. Oh, it's so cute when you tiny adventurers lie. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? What's going on here? Gauntlet Bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? Everybody run! Hide! That's the admin and he could destroy us all! Well, if that that admin thing wants Jesse, we should just let him have his way. What? Sacrifice Jesse? No way! No way! You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. I've got an idea for everyone. It involves these, especially this one. Maybe I'll go hide somewhere then. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there, Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. Ah, there you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. You are acting very weird, Mr. Admin. What's your game here? Game? Ha! Huh. Why, the greatest game of all. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the Sea Temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you fight. No! Champion, 
Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Not today, Admin. Beacon Town can take anything you throw at it. <clears throat> Hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. So much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> This reminds me of, uh... No, actually it doesn't. This is pretty bad. All the swords in Beacon Town won't be enough to take this monstrosity down. Who needs swords when you have the structure block? Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make tall, dark, and ugly regret smashing my town. No one's a better distraction than me. Go for it. Hey! Woohoo! Chew on me, monster! I never liked Prismarine anyway! What a liar! Say that to my face and I'll show you who's lying! You are! Ha! I'll me- Block. Ha ha. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me home. Oh. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. Ah! If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Ah! Ah, there we are. All right, Admin, you want to fight? You got one. Here I am. <laughs> Sarcastically. Hey, Rockface! Eat this! Good to see you too. Yes. What is that? Quick version: the admin. He like built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. <laughs> what took you so long? Hey, riding to the rescue takes time, all right? 
I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You can't doubt Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Yeah, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Right, see what you got. Yeah. Anything about me. <sighs> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh boy. Was really something. Stay behind me, Stammy! Ah, don't let the googlies take me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? still works. Man, this thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? I don't know. If we destroyed that huge thing and he's still alive, 
That's kind of scary. I don't know how much more Beacon Town can take. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. I know you didn't think I was ready to watch a whole town. Sorry, Radar. We really need someone a little sturdier keeping an eye on this. I think Lucas should do it. I see. Fair warning. I am just going to take Radar's plan of running to get help if anything happens. That was a good plan. <laughs> Thanks. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. It feels pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together, though. You'll see. And, um... <sighs> when I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. Okay, we've had a ton of adventures, and I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. So go rebuild that monument of his. I'll stay and guard the clock. Thanks, Lucas. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. 
No? Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep just uh, talking about for some day uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. You guys can talk about having some new adventure plan. What do I care? Huh. I guess that's true. Yeah, we've just got a new expedition on the horizon. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh... Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you. I was just working up to it. Slowly. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but you're being a jerk. You could seriously hurt people. Oh, come on. Come on, don't do me like that. You have to admit, you've been having a little fun along the way. All those guardian fish, the temple, hey? See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes! You're perfect for my creations! Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it! Not again! You hear that? That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane! Oh, come on, some zombies? So scary. Ooh, a hero with attitude. I love it! I really do! Ahem! <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. Are you insane? Are you just an actual crazy person? Is it because I look like this? Yeah, I can see why you'd think that. But no, 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 I'm just fine. I promise you. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town.
Bye bye now. Ah, oh, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, it was the craziest thing. That clock just vanished from under my nose. I know. Now the situation is just gonna get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. I'm coming too. I know you didn't trust me to watch the clock or guard the town, but I promise I can help. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Just do me a favor and try to stay out of danger, okay? Okay. I'll try not to be a burden. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Hmm. I promise I will come back. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, see you, Nerm. We'll be back soon. Oh. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the <laughs> admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another, hunchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh -huh. me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know. Find myself? You didn't invite me. You didn't even tell me until I caught you. I... 
I thought you would be busy with all the rebuilding and everything. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. So you decide the best idea is to ditch me? Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. On that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? She's just a goofy llama. A little weird, but nice enough. <laughs> Don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but I'd watch who you're calling Goofy. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Yeah, I'm still really not your rival. Really. So you say. And yet here we still meet. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Can't believe you're all alone. Thought you had people to do things like this for you. Huh. That's what you think. But when Champion City is threatened, I am not going to refuse the call. <laughs> I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. <laughs> it's my world, too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the... the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, stuck. you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? 
Astounding! <laughs> I know. Jack, speechless. Lucas, you better write that down. Already jotted it down under rare occurrences and phenomena. Hey, come on. Rude. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get there. <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Just try not to get killed, okay, Radar? I want everyone to get home alive. I, uh, yeah. I'll make sure it's at the top of my to-do list. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! What's going on? Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round! Y y don't be shy! Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not... How do I say this? Losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir. I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong, from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? And who exactly made you the judge? Um, my near infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you! Cook this place up just for you. 
I mean, it's pretty... Uh, I was going to say pretty cool, but with the whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. Spe People's lives are at stake here. Can't say I care for your attitude, but that's fine. You'll figure it out soon enough. Nice landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Nuh-uh. No way, Stella. I'm taking you down. Oh, I knew you were my rival, Jesse. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. <laughs> You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. All I know is that I don't trust anything the admin says. Uh, I'd agree with that. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. Sure. Well. That is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. Then I guess we're just gonna have to prove how wrong the admin is. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Oh, wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk Radar! over me. Ah, sorry, I had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. And there are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. We were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. That's it, Luna, <laughs> darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait, it's like Jesse said, we can't trust the admin. Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. Uh, 
I'm going with them. Be safe, okay? Okay. Nice! Let's ride! strange woman and her llama go? No idea. I wanted to see if it really had the treasure sniffing power she said it did. Guess we got a little separated during that crazy roller coaster ride. This place is nuts! Yeah, no kidding. I'm not complaining about less time with Stella, but I hope that we can find Radar and Lucas again after we get the clock. Anything can happen to them. They're not exactly the most warriorish, if you know what I mean. That's why we need to hurry. We've got to get the clock and then find them before anything bad happens. I like this plan. I vote we do it. Well, I'm just psyched to have you with us, Jesse. Just like old times, right? Well, I'm guessing none of your old times had you up against a villain as powerful as the admin, though. That guy is crazy powerful. And just plain crazy. Huh, no kidding! He puts any of our old foes to shame. We've been through much worse than this. And you know what? It still feels good to be back in the proverbial saddle. Heck yeah to that. <sighs> yeah. Whew. Feels like the Seed Temple all over again. Yeah, I was feeling that too. Don't like it. I don't like anything this guy builds. Everything's decorated with dread. And garnished with doom. Hey, guys, remember the Colossus? We beat that. We can do this, too. Yeah. Good point there, Jesse. We'll be fine, Jack. I hope. Oh, it is great to see you in here. You're my favorite group. True story. And I just know you're going to demolish this room. It's simple. <laughs> All you need to do is find your way out. So we have to... Escape the room? I guess you could put it that way. You won't get any hints from me, though. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. I don't need your hints. This game will be over before it even gets started. See, now that's the kind of behavior I like to see in a champion. <laughs> Confident, cool under pressure. Oh, you'll go far. All right. It's time to get this proverbial party started. I am very excited to see how you do. Atros! Don't worry, they're right there. Now, will you be able to get them back out is the question. <laughs> oh, you just can't stop putting me in cages, can you? Oh, <laughs> you, you are a riot. <laughs> No, really. <laughs> uh, farewell now, and uh, uh, good luck. <laughs> okay, escape time. Half creeper, half spider. Charming. Any 
Any ideas, Jack? Uh, of course I do. Plenty. Definitely the way out, but what is that? Diamonds? So this was the treasure that Llama was after. One puzzle at a time, Jesse. What you got back there? I, I think it's supposed to be a cobweb, but half the blocks are missing. You okay? Well, every time I approach the ice, I get cursed. Some kind of mining fatigue, I think. Yow! I suppose this contraption holds some kind of clue. Any thoughts on how to get through the ice? Time to build. This clay should fill up the spots in the floor. All right, hold on. Think these are for you. Thanks. Man, now I just wish Lucas was with us too. Bummer that Radar was being so, ugh, with... Come on, you, you think we can move this along? Time's a-wasting. I mean, like, literally, that clock is still up there. You could help out, you know, that would move things along. Well, I'm doing plenty of helping out, right here. I'm, I'm helping out, uh, right here. I mean, I almost have this thing figured out. It's all in the planning. I just, uh, gotta plan a l little more. Easy. I have a torch. Oh, that's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? And it worked. Here you go, Jesse. These should help. Yeah. 
Yeah, what is it? I don't got all day. Oh, wait, I do. Because we're locked in this room. I'm trying to get us out. You could help. Hey, I'm trying too. Working out a lot of stuff up here. That's where it starts. Hey. I know the admin is kind of nuts, but I can't help but think all this is kind of cool. But sure wouldn't mind being out of here. as perfect as a creepy statue can get. Way to go, Jesse. I knew you'd figure it out. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you did all right. Of course, um, I had it figured out right from when we all walked into the room, but, uh, uh good job. Uh, but it's nice to see a newbie at work, though. You know, I highly doubt that. Sorry, Jack. Yeah, right, fine. You caught me. You want a prize? Don't circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Ugh, who would fill a chest with spider eyes? Yeah. Huh. That sounds like the recipe for a daylight sensor. Huh. But those only work if there's sunlight. Let's see. was for a daylight sensor. I totally know how to use one of those. Give it here. Are you sure? Yeah, of course, completely. I uh, just need a sec to put the uh, words together. Let me handle this so I can actually get us out of here. Oh, come on, Jesse. What? I, I thought it should be working. Problems, Jesse? We don't have time for problems. A minute. Told you so. Fight. Fight. Ah! Let, let me down. Ah! No. We are leaving. Jack, come on.
Jack. Voss. I let you down, buddy. Again. We could have helped him. You could have saved him. Now he'll be trapped. Trapped in the cold, obsidian clutches of the admin. The admin keeps talking about people who aren't real heroes not being cut out for this place, and... Well, maybe Voss wasn't. Of course. <laughs> of course he was! Jesse, jeez. Lucas! Radar? Lucas, where's Radar? <sighs> the room. It was too much for us. I mean, there were arrows and snowballs flying everywhere. Jesse, I did the best I could, but... No, no! No one deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but she's a person too. Stella ran off on her own, so maybe she does a little? I. Yeah, but that's still pretty cold. <laughs> More time to use to save Voss. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people. Wrong! You're not supposed to help each other. The losers are supposed to lose. Like this guy. There is no way he would have made it out if you weren't giving him the intellectual assist. You should have just cut him loose. Jettison that baggage. Seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful. Fine, then just let him out of here. Set him free if you really don't think he should be here. Ah. <sighs> Fine. You convince me. It's not often I give second chances. A one condition, though. Get off me, you dang! Oh, man. Not good! No! Not good! Ah! No! Let's see how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are? Without... You... Ugh. You have to get to the door! Jesse, Jack doesn't have it. He's not gonna make it. You can't just stand here. Jesse! Here we go. <laughs> Jack, the door! What? Where? There? Oh, I... Uh, I'm not going to make it. Grab on to me. How do you do that? Photographic muscle memory. This... this is impossible. The admin told us to go through his stupid challenge, but maybe we can find another way. Did anyone... Luna? If that llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Yeah, we're never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds? That sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me.
tombs. They're going up. And our friends went up. And that's where we're headed to. Uh, hate to point out the obvious, but we can't climb. Oh, no. Thank you. 
Sorry, Stella, but I'm leaving you in there for your chat with the admin. I... I don't believe it. I, I knew you were my rival, but this is further than I thought even you would go. Good luck. Where'd it go, Jack? Come on, guys, let's get up to him. I promise you! Jesse. Of course I am! Voss. The whole time? No, not the whole time, you nitwit! The real Voss would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend. My partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. Are you serious? I would never be your friend. You're nuts! And you? <laughs> well, you are incredibly bold. Uh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Admin. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> uh, those fools may not want to be your partner, but I will. But you... lost. Guys, guys! What are we gonna do? Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. We only have one option. We fight. Give them everything you've got. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Really? You think that would work on me? You've seen me, right? We, you really do have a thing or two you could learn from Stella here. Her skill's lacking, but she's got a terrific attitude. Your attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well. There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. 
just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? Hey, we did exactly what you said, didn't we? We got your stupid clock. Nah, nope. You were more interested in saving those loser friends of yours. That practically negates all of the other stuff. I gave you so many chances! Not be worthy. What? Technically, Jack here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No! You can't! Ooh, Jack! Where did he go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Jack! No! <laughs> Shh. Like I said, not for you guys to worry about. Oh. Cute. I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm gonna feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever. Again. No! Must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin. Well, this is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, it's not a very nice place. And the people? Well, they're not very nice either. <laughs>